Uh, short, short takeoff and landings and stuff like that was pretty cool. Hey guys, welcome back to the Holy Shift channel. We're at Dunkin' Donuts up at Greenwood Lake. Just stopped for a cup of coffee, and now we're heading we're heading back home. Uh, on the way here, I had a video. I was uh, recording a video. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend because it's uh, my trip my vi my trip with my daughter. Uh, my 16 year old daughter to England we went together to England it was her first time it was her first time in England London and uh, I recorded that video so if you want to watch it at the end of this video just uh, search my trip my trip to London this video is however uh, I'm gonna talk about my uh, simulator training in Amsterdam as you know or if you don't know I'm an airline pilot that's where I uh, that's where I, my real job not YouTube so uh, being an airline pilot for already more than 20 years every six months you have to uh, revalidate your license that means you go through some kind of a training in a simulator four hours of training where on that uh, ride, that check ride, or actually the training program, the simulator uh, simulates a real feeling as if you're in the airplane with motion and visuals and stuff like that. And at the end of uh, that session of uh, like the four hours, you have the next day another session where it's the actual uh, route check. It's a proficiency, proficiency, proficiency check where you go through different drills of, uh, you know, controlling the airplane in different non-normal situations. You know, emergencies that you never, thank God, you never come across on a daily basis. For example, if uh, your engine catches on fire uh, or if an engine fails and you only have one engine and you need to come back to land as soon as possible. Uh, 100. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Uh, for example, if there's a loss of pressurization in the airplane and you know the oxygen masks fall down and everybody starts to panic. And I, I don't mean to scare you guys over here, but these are you know very rare, very rare uh, situations that you know as rare they are, they can happen. And we, uh, the pilots, need to know how to handle them and fly the airplane safely back, uh, you know, for landing. And we have 300 passengers, uh, you know, under our responsibility. So we definitely need to be practicing every every six months. We have to. They have to. Uh, there's a checker that checks to see if we're uh, capable and if uh, we remember what is needed. And uh, we go through. Uh, this this uh, check check ride, and at the end, if it's successful, we get we revalidate our license again. Pretty much.
Sink rate. Sink rate. Every six months we go, like I said, on this uh, check ride. And uh, this time I had a great opportunity to go to Amsterdam. Oh, you know, although the destination sounds really cool and interesting, and we do try to have a little uh, fun while we're there. But uh, the truth is, it's, uh, you know, the day the two days that you're there uh, practicing and training it's kind of it is somewhat stressful because you know if you don't pass if you don't pass uh, the check you lose your license I mean you you have to you, you can't fly so you need to go through the whole process again and training again not everything down from the beginning but it is it is a very stressful uh, time and uh, we try to make the best of it Oh, pretty twisty. I wasn't expecting that. Holy shit. So, Amsterdam is very pretty. It's it's built on one big, uh, I, want, I won't say swamp, but a very uh, sea level. Uh, the ground over there is like pretty much sea level, so all the houses and buildings are built on uh, pretty much stilts because uh, the foundations are long stilts wooden stilts that are drilled all the way down down to the ground all the way to the not bedrock but below below the you know below the sea it's since amsterdam is built with uh on stilts over uh like in the water itself so all all the all the buildings are separate from each other so take a look at this and it's very uh, it moves a lot so took take a look at this at this building how it separated from the top you see so all the buildings move separately back and forth over the years so it's because they're all their their uh, their foundation are stilts that go into the into the into the ocean into the sea over here look at that isn't that crazy look at that you see look at the top it's like at least a foot forward look at him even from this side very interesting it was a great time uh, so what was nice this time is that after uh, we had our route check and uh, we finished it pretty fast we had some uh, extra time left over and once you're done uh, completed the test and you got your validated your license and everything is cool we just had extra you know some spare time so uh, he, the instructor asked us what do we want to do with our spare time so we just like flew over New York City and flew over the airport and did some some uh, landings and uh, short short takeoff and landings and stuff like that it was pretty cool. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up, 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 pull that is that is the simulator we've done past the, the test the check ride every six months we go for this check ride and we have to you know do all the procedures properly and the checklists and fly the airplane properly like you've just seen look look at it move it sits on these look at that one and it's it's simply simply simulating the feeling the motion and feeling uh, as flying the motion combined with the video uh, screen in front of you gives you a uh, exact feeling exactly the way the airplane is actually you know flying just as you've seen so that's it for now in six months we'll be back again so until you actually pass so look at this one this one's going wild one of these hydraulic jacks down there. <laughs> the 
a nice twisty road. Oh, I know where we're at. I had no clue that it's right near uh, Bear Mountain right here. That's cool. No clue. the noise and the sound of the exhaust it's beautiful we went uh, to a great restaurant first day after the simulator training itself we went to a, a very uh, famous it's it's famous known to us ever since my years in the when I got into the airline 20 years ago we used to go to that restaurant and that specific brands restaurant it's called cafe cafe de Clos cafe de Clos in Amsterdam and they it's a little bar and you sit on the bar itself maybe three three tables inside and they have a huge like a kitchen in the back and they have the best best spare ribs spare ribs uh and with us with a, like a baked potato with tons of garlic and butter oh <laughs> How about this rack? Rack of ribs. Looking really, really good. How about this rack? Some potato, hot potato action with garlic butter. Long beer and a long waitress. Job completed. Well done. Well done. That was definitely a great meal. Got to try out in Amsterdam. Cafe de Clos. Wasn't it good here? Amazing. Yeah, even, even Jonathan here is saying. And what's special about the way they make it is it's kind of dry, but tons and tons of uh, flavor and, and spices. So that was the first day. It was so enjoyable. Next day, this, after we finished the, the route check and we were all, all of a sudden, like all the, all the mood changed because like you're, you're very stressed uh, the time before the actual uh, route, uh, route check itself. And once that's over and you pass and everything is good, like the mood suddenly changes dramatically. And I just took my, I literally, I, I didn't take my phone out during the first day. I mean, my camera, phone, camera, you know what I mean. But the minute I passed the, the, the route check, I took the phone out and started shooting every possible angle of uh, of Amsterdam. A good life. How about that? <laughs> I'm in Amsterdam, staying at the W Hotel, and let me take you for a little, uh, let me show you this uh, W Hotel. It's the first time in a W Hotel, never been. Apparently it's uh, very future uh, artistic and stuff like that. This used to be a bank. So they have part of the lobby, the entrance, the, the safe, the safe boxes over here. Now let me show you the actual, the actual vault where they kept all the big money. Let me show you. I think it's this way. Nah. The vault. This would be the bank, so that's where they have actually the, the spa right now. That's the spa down there, like a dungeon. I'm in, in the vault. But let me show you the let me show you the, <laughs> the locker room. This was the door to the vault. 
and you see it. That is the door to the vault. Crazy, crazy design. And that's uh, the sauna, the shared, the shared sauna, men and women together. And uh, you're not allowed to bring any piece of clothing with you. Don't tell my wife I'm gonna try very soon. <laughs> hey, you know me, I, I follow the rules. It's the rules here. I mean, this is Europe. That's the rule in Europe. <laughs> Look how cool the canals are. Bicycle is the number one means of transportation here in Amsterdam. Look at the building, how, buildings, how pretty they are. You all know Amsterdam. Holland is known <laughs> for the Gouda, Gouda cheese. And I was requested by family to get every possible flavor over here. So look how many flavors, different flavors they have. You name it, cumin or pepper, herbs and garlic, coconut, that's really good, garlic. Oh, look how colorful it is as well. Take a look at this interesting fact. You see each, each building over here has like a winch and a pulley system over here because the buildings are so narrow and you literally can't take uh, heavy weights and big lifts, refrigerators and things upstairs during uh, like in the staircases so you literally have to lift them up from the outside and then swing them in through the windows take a look one two three there goes the tram even the other side one two they all have these lifts this is a trick i always like to do Look, I, I'm going to spit on them. Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> How about dinner, guys? Anybody want some dinner? Or wine? Oh, nice cheese. Gouda cheese. In the second day, we decided we'll go for uh, more ribs. But this time, there was even a... Like, I don't know if it's a better place for ribs, but it's a different uh, different style, the way, the, the way they make their ribs. They make them with uh, like very wet, different style. That, that place is called Nachtwacht. In Dutch, Nachtwacht is a uh, night guard. And they have some great, great, great racks of spare ribs over there and uh, steaks. So we split, we took uh, one main course of spare ribs and the other guy took a, a, a filet mignon and we split it and we had a, a feast it was so good found the place matter of fact i ate here a few years ago wasn't sure if it's going to be frog legs or snails so we might go with snails after all We're gonna go half and half. Filet. Filet mignon. Wow. Looks really good. Half and a half. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? These are sides. Now let's dig in. This is a Rembrandt Plus. Plaza. <laughs> oh man, my, my mouth is watering just thinking about it now. That was great. That's it, once we were done, uh, we flew back.
just as I was talking about. Paying attention, huh? The road was closing in on me.